Well, good evening, gang, and welcome to It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams, and I'm your host. And to my right and to your left, of course, is the lovely Valerie Eliason. Hello, Val. Hey, Glenn. How are you today? I'm great. How are you? Great, great. It's good to see you. It's good to see you. Yes. Um, happy anniversary. This is the first show of your second year with us. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. I can't believe it's been a whole year already. Yeah, yeah. It's been a year, and you've done it. We've Change the show as we as you promised, thank you. and uh, we thank you and appreciate everything that you do. You know that. Well, it's such an honor to well, have, be able to be a part of it, you. and you guys are awesome, and everyone here at BNN is awesome. Yeah, people here at BNN have done a great job. We're yeah. really proud of everything that they do. But we are coming to you live from our beautiful studios here at BNN TV, and you're more than welcome to join us if you'd like and give us a call. We're at six one seven seven zero eight three two nine zero. Dave and the great staff of BNN are in the other room answering the phones. Testing, testing. David, you in there? Okay, good. <laughs> Just wanted to make sure that everybody can give us a call and join us if they'd like. Thank you so much. So what's new and exciting? You know what I did this week? What? I went on a tour of the Diablo Glass School over, oh. over by Mission Hill. I've heard of that place. Yeah, they and have. And do they do the glass blowing there? They do there? the glass blowing oh, there. So there was cool. this en enormous furnace, blast furnaces, four of them. Yeah. 2,400 degrees. I unbelievable. Oh, God. And we all sat kind of pretty close. It wasn't, you know, it was kind of scary. Yeah. And you'd go into one and dip out this glass and be spin it and start doing things. I, it was just fascinating. That's awesome. Dip it in these chips of glass that were colored and do all kinds of fancy things. It was fun. I love watching that. I've got to see uh, glass blowing demonstrations a couple times. It's yeah. always fascinating. Yeah. Oh, I, love I loved it. It. It, was, it was fun and the kids enjoyed it. I took them to the Boys and Girls Club from, from Orchard Gardens there and we, yeah. we, did some, we did some fun things. It was, it was kind of cool. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. That sounds like a fun, artful thing to do. What did you do artfully? Can you talk that? I will try. <laughs> you are. Uh, you've got it. Go ahead. Let, them, let me have it. I actually have a couple things. <laughs> Very different. Um, so Merge Arts Boston. Yeah, what is Merge Arts? Uh, it's a new organization. So they have a branch in New York and Philly, and they bring uh, local artists together and give them a platform to um, show off their work. Uh -huh. So they've started putting these events on at venue in Boston mm -hmm. every month and um, they're constantly rotating out, uh, rotating out different artists. They, they had a runway show, um, oh, nice. musicians, a band performing, lots of painters. Um, I, I felt really honored the director reached out to me and asked if I'd nice. like to attend the event. Nice. So got to meet some great guests that we'll definitely be having nice. on That's in the great. future. And it was my roommate's 30th birthday. You did a, you, you made, yeah, you, you tried to describe it to me. What did you make? I made her a cheeseburger cake. So it was a cake. There's no meat or anything like that in it. Okay. It was a cake, but it looked like a cheeseburger. So Very this nice. giant used uh, cocoa, cocoa Krispies as the, made a giant Rice Krispie treat as the <laughs> patty. And it was. Did just, you eat it? I did. Yeah, oh. it was delicious. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good. So, a little fun with food art and a little fun with, you know, That's great. art art. I, gotta do, I do have to tell everybody that this Saturday at the Farmer's Market down in, in, uh, in, in Rosendale Square, the Rosendale Village Main Street's Farmer's Market, that Boston Creates is going to be there. Yes. They're going to have a big tent there, and they're going to be interviewing people on what the arts are in, in, in Boston, the Rosendale area, what's missing, what they think can be improved, those different kind of things. So um, that's kind of what's going to be happening down there. I'm going to be, i got to juggle several things that we'll get into. Um, but uh, one of them is going to be manning and, and kind of running that thing. So it'll be a lot of fun. People from, create, from Boston Creates. Boston Creates is something that the mayor has put together. And uh, he has taken representatives from the different parts of the city. And I'm honored to be one of them to kind of spearhead this collection of information and stuff. So it's going to be uh, an opportunity for people from all over the city of Boston to get some input into the new cabinet position, the arts czar, Ooh. the arts commissioner for the city. Uh, we're very, very fortunate to have, some, have that kind of position put together by the mayor. So um, Judy Barrows is, is now holding that seat. She's a fabulous woman. She's a phenomenal artist and uh, art uh, business type thing mm -hmm. so it's it's going to be nice and the nice thing is is that that the that she sits at the at the level of the cabinet where it's policy she gets to help write policy and 
uh, with someone with the arts firmly in their grasp is great. It's, it's great. It's going to be nice. So they're going to be there. And? Uh, and, <laughs> and Low Budget Records is going to be coming yes. down. Low Budget Records is coming down to play constantly for two and a half hours, and two hours. And yours truly is going I, I'm to gonna, be playing. I'm going to play a couple of songs. We've also got a couple of the, of the, of, of the people that are going to be playing there in the studio tonight as well. Yes. Uh, everybody knows the great Mr. Kurt. Uh, Mr. Kurt has been a friend of mine for, for many, many years. I've played with him. I've, mm, uh, I've play, <laughs> yeah. we've, we've played together. We've written together. We've, we've done, you know, recorded together. And uh, it's going to be fun to, uh, to have Mr. Kurt. And um, uh, Jeff Pango is playing with him. So he's, gonna, he's in the studio, too. Uh, we were going to have Bonnie Gordon in to play, but um, the city of Boston, they won. The streets of the city of Boston one and and Bonnie was just a little bit late, but I think we'll, we'll probably get Bonnie up here to say a couple of things, talk yeah, a little bit, and just course. let let us know what's going on with, with her musically, because I love Bonnie. Boss. And I'm going to ask her on the air to sing a song with me on my new CD. So, shh, don't tell her. I won't She's not her. listening. She's not here. <laughs> <laughs> so, anyways. So that's great. That's going to be happening. Those are some of the exciting things that are going on in the city. No Olympics. You know, I said from I the heard beginning. That. Yeah, an hour ago. I said from the beginning, I want there to be the, I wanted the Olympics badly. I wanted them running by my house. I think yeah. they should have had events in Fallon Field, you know, and. Uh, to be honest, happen. I was kind of on the fence about it. Yeah, no, that's why they're not coming. It's because of people like of, you on the fence. I'm people. sorry. I'm sad. There's a lot of people that are on the other side of the fence, though, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah. But. No, there was a lot of questions. And, yeah. and I understand that whole concept of it's a very expensive yeah. thing. You know? It is. They spend billions of dollars on the opening ceremonies, mm -hmm. you know. Where's that loot coming from? And I can understand all yeah. that. Yeah. Although it so would have certainly been an honor. Yes, it most certainly would have. Yeah, yes. it would have been great to have that happen. But Absolutely. It didn't. Another day. Yeah, Another I guess. Year. Um, there was something else that you were doing, artfully. Uh, have you registered your porch for Porch Fest yet? I don't have a porch. You've seen my porch. There's nothing to it. Well, great Andy Hollinger and I drove around yesterday for a couple of hours looking at the almost 40 porches that have registered. We've got almost 40 porches in about 35, 36 artists, oh my gosh. musicians that are going to play. That's up from when he was on... Oh, it's way up from when he was a guest, yeah. Oh, that's and awesome. And the deadline is August 12th. So, you know what happens that last week? Anybody that runs any events where people have to register and kind of line up, get, get, get signed up for. The last week you get a whole slew of people. So I'm, I'm thinking we're going to break 50 porches and 50 bands. I think so too. Yeah. Oh yeah. So there's, there's, going, there's a lot of electricity with that going on. You can learn, learn something about that too down at the Rosnell Village Main Street's Farmer's Market mm -hmm. as well. I'm there every day. I, I get there a lot earlier than when it opens up and I stay a lot later than when it closes. Yes, you do. But I'm there all day. So if you want to come by and say hello, that's a good time and good place to catch me. Are you going to be down this Saturday? I, I can't miss a chance to see <laughs> you and Mr. Kurt and Jeff play. I'm going to be playing with Tim Casey, my great musical friend, and Andy Hollinger. And hopefully Larry Harvey. We're trying to get, get him reeled in a bit. Uh, there's going to be lots of other bands playing there, I guess. Bonnie's going to be, be performing oh, there awesome. as well. We're, we're going to be talking to these cats in a little while. We'll get a little more information on what that's going on. One of the things I like to do, and, and I think it's really important that we get it out, is that um, uh, we have a great partnership and some great friends and people that help keep us on the air here, Boston Main Streets. The Boston Main Streets program is a volunteer-driven organization that helps revitalize the business district in the city. There's about 22 of them around the city. And what they do is they work with the property owners to get demographic information so they'll know the correct kind of business to put down in their storefront. Once it's filled with a new business, often a brand new startup, mom, mom and pa type of store, because they kind of fight against bringing in these big you know, yeah. uh, conglomerates into the communi little communities. Leave them out in the malls and stuff yeah. like that. You know, we don't need you know, a smart, big... Pet well, <laughs> I don't know, to mention a few. But they're there, <laughs> and, and they've promised to work with the community to fit in there and make sure that they are part of, an active part of our community. And I think that's, that's good, too. 
Um, but they help, the, the, once they're in there, they help these, these startup businesses or these businesses once they've moved into their new storefronts with some of their design and some of their uh, uh, permitting they have to go through with the city and all that. And then there's the, the, uh, the part of the organization that I've been, f been proud to be part of for many, many years is the um, promotions committee. They do all the concerts down the park. They do the farmer's market, taste of this, taste of that. So. They're awesome. I'm, I love the events that they're constantly coming up with. Yeah, yeah, they Actually, do. one of my Val's views is about one of the Main Street oh, neighborhoods. Excellent, excellent. Well, those are the kind of things we, gotta, we want to infuse into our thing. The other thing about Val's View that we're very, very proud of, you're coming on an, an anniversary there where your Val's View is being featured on the Boston City Paper. Yes. The inside in page. <laughs> I think it's about five months now. I think so. Yeah, five You're or right. six months or so a half a year anniversary coming up. So uh, congratulations on that. Thank um, you. Uh, it's great to see Val's view there. It's great to see it's all about arts kind of featured on the Boston Boston paper scene, you know. It's so an it's honor. Of, it's yeah, an absolute honor. It's been fun. I love it. Um, the other thing we like to talk about, of course, is this amazing building that we're in. Uh, BNN TV. You know, I go back to when BNN was a little closet down in the transportation building down in Park Square. Mm -hmm. um, Kurt and I have done a dozen shows over in the old building there, but it predate, what, what predates the, 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 the set we had there, the studio there, was a closet down in the first floor. You had the great Rebecca. The fabulous Rebecca. <laughs> We'd open up a door and and you'd walk into this closet and there'd be a hole in the wall with the camera and you'd have to run the phone, you'd have to run everything and the lights went off when, you, when your turn was done, that kind of thing. And we've grown to this amazing state-of-the-art uh, studio and, uh, and uh, computer lab here right at yeah. 3025 Washington Street. And uh, being on TV is a opportunity for local nonprofits and people in the community to come and learn how to do television production, learn how to do uh, lighting and these cameras and all of this kind of cool thing here that they do. They have classes for people to do Final Cut Pro. They yeah. have classes uh, for, for lighting, for sound, and, and all of this kind of really cool thing. Um, that's the other side. We are watching Channel 9 right now. Uh, Channel 9 is news and information. So if you were a nonprofit and you wanted to come in and talk about your mission statement, letting everybody know what's going on with your, you know, your, new, your business, your nonprofit, this is the place to go. Now, uh, why don't we take a second and listen, I'm going to sit back and you can switch your channel over to 20, uh, 23. That's where the access side is. We'll just take a look. We'll be back in just a second. 23, that's where the access side is. We'll just take a look. We'll be back in just a second. 23, that's where the access side is. We'll just take a look. We'll be back in just a second. 23, that's where the access side is. We'll just take a look. We'll be back in just a second. See, they're on a delay over there. <laughs> <laughs> We've been having fun with this for a couple of weeks. Dave never ceases Thank you, to surprise David. us. <laughs> Thank you, Davey. Uh, but over there, what it is, is you become a member and you get to go out and kind of sign out all these fantastic cameras and, and equipment that you've learned how to use and shoot your own program, yeah. do the church thing, do the community meeting, do the swim meet, do the whatever you want to shoot, come back and edit it in the great Timothy Smith uh, computer lab downstairs and lo and behold they put it on TV for you. Yeah. So if you're interested in doing something like that, I, we're asking you to go to www.bnntv.org, click on the great Janice Williams' name or Jim, Jim, Atwood. Jim Atwood's name. Those are the cats that have all the information that you'll need to come in here and do your own television programming. Absolutely. And we're coming up on an anniversary for It's All About Arts. It's going to be 18 years this eight, November, eight, 18 right? 18 years this November we've been here. That's incredible. Yeah, and, uh, it, and I'm very proud of the fact that, you know, we've kind of held this thing together. I mean, there's been programs that, that kind of come and go a little bit. There's programs that kind of take part of the year and kind of, you know, but I've been very, very fortunate, number one, to have super producer Janice Williams mm -hmm. working with me uh, because what happens there is she gets all of this amazing stuff done, all of the, all of the guests lined up, and then I just show up here and, and, and blather on, you know? <laughs> I mean, but all the work, believe me, is being done by the super producer Janice. But there's other there's other people involved. I mean, we get great guests from yeah. Suzanne Schultz. We get great guests from Mr. Kurt. We get great guests from Julie Flynn. We we've got this whole kind of crowd of people that are sending us guests and and, and doing a lot of the work. But yes, we're very 
We're very fortunate to have been doing this for 18 years. Yeah. We have a lot. I mean, we have a lot of great guests even booked coming up. I think we're booked to December. We're, big, we are, we're booked straight through to December. Yeah. yeah. It's exciting. Yeah, it's really kind of picked up. So it's I'm really, And you've had a lot to do with that, you know. Thank you. But you know what we're going to do is, you got a Val's view, right? I do. Okay, you know what we're going to do is we're going to take a short break, and we're going to do a Val's view. Yep. And uh, then we're going to uh, come back and... Uh, I think what we're going to do is uh, we're going to meet Mr. Kurt and Jeff, and mm -hmm. we're going to let them uh, play for a couple of tunes. Would that be fun? Oh, yeah. I can't that wait. We're be listening fun. to them before this. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that'd be awesome. Good. Okay. Listen, gang. Sit back and relax. You're watching BNN TV's It's All About Arts. My name is Glenn Williams. This is the lovely Valerie Eliason. And listen, we'll be back in just a couple of minutes. Please do not go away. Well, welcome back, gang. Thanks an awful lot for hanging in there with us. Listen, if you want to see this show again, and why wouldn't you, uh, the show will be on sometime tomorrow, around this time, on our, on our Facebook, uh, I'm sorry, on our YouTube station. It's called It's All About Arts and the Number One. That's how you can get to us. And also, it'll be on our Facebook page as well. So, but listen, you know what? We're going to take a little switcheroo here. And it's my great pleasure and honor to introduce you to a great friend and great musician, Bonnie Gordon. Hello, kiddo. How are you? I'm all right. It's good to see you. How's everything? Things are good. Good. I'm good. sorry that the city of Boston got, got hold of you yeah. on your travels trying to get I, yeah. here. That and my GPS. Oh, I'm sorry. Modern technology strikes again. Uh -huh. Now, you're part of the, of the low-budget records gang, right? Yeah. Can you tell me a little bit about what that experience has been like? How's that been going for you? You've got a couple of fantastic albums out. Well, I've got a new CD yeah. out, um, which I have to give huge accolades to Tim for he... You know, Tim Casey he is the grand poobah. He's he's something else, yeah. Yeah. He just took my music, the skeleton of songs, and uh, you know, just them in, gave yeah. them, gave, you know, a vibrant personality. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah. Uh, so yeah, that just came out, and uh, 
So I'll be playing something Saturday at the farmer's that's market. That's great. I'm, I'm sure. glad you're going to yeah. be there. That's yeah, fabulous. Yeah, looking if, forward if, to it. In fact, once we, I was sitting in the studio, sitting in the car, and he was working on one of your pieces, and there was some, some music playing in the background. Of course, I'm sitting there just fiddling around with it. I actually came up with a bass line that, that ended up ended up staying on, yeah. on the uh, on the album. I'm very proud of that. I haven't had a chance to be on oh. any of your work in the past. Oh, I liked it a lot. Yeah, it was a lot I of fun. Like You're going to have to return the favor for me. Awesome. I'd love to. <laughs> yeah, I got a great song for us to sing. It's going to be fun. Um, yeah. Well, let me let me ask you just a quick question about about your your writing and, and, and stuff. Um, are you a somebody who can sit down and kind of get that song finished that you needed to get done, or or are you just kind of free and letting, letting things happen as they happen? Uh, sometimes it's fragments. Mm -hmm. And I'll just put something down, put it aside, and work on something else if I'm not feeling like it's going anywhere. Right. And, um, I've had some songs that, you know, take over a year that I finally get, you know, the... Uh, Bits and pieces put back together. I did, yeah. yeah. And it's like a, a little puzzle comes together. Right. And, um, now, now people can get this new album if they go to lowbudgetrecords.com, right? Yeah. That's where they can... Or iTunes. I, yeah, it's or all over the place. And yeah. Amazon. Yeah, yeah, it's all over the place. Well, congratulations with that. I can't wait to hear you on Saturday and be able to spend Thank a you. little more time with you. Thank you for coming Thank in you. anyways. I appreciate it, Thank Bonnie. You, I really, really, really do. Thank you. Listen, gang, you know what we're going to do is uh, it is that time. It's time to shoot it over to the great Valerie Elias. And listen, it's time for Val's... <laughs> Val's yeah. view? Are you out there, Valerie? I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> oh, well, thank you so much for that introduction and for the wonderful background music from our amazing musical guests, Mr. Kurt and Jeff. Uh, so first on the list for Val's view, we have the banner celebration. It's going on August 1st from 2 to 5 p.m. Uh, it's around 111 Broadway Street in East Somerville. Uh, so what the banner celebration is, it's going to be a celebration of Eastville with stories, music, food, and activities. Uh, it's the unveiling of the new community street banners. So the National Endowment for the Arts has awarded East Somerville Main Streets a grant to fund a placemaking initiative for East Somerville. Uh, so the initiative is called This is East, and it's going to celebrate and help maintain the identity of East Somerville's wonderful neighborhood. And this is great. We love preserving the spectacular neighborhoods that are around Boston. Um, so of course this is an ongoing thing throughout the summer. It's going to be one of many celebrations um, and one of many events in the, in the This is East initiative. There's going to be uh, murals put up. There's also going to be um, some different musical events. So definitely go online to check it out. Uh, see when you're going to be around and stop by. Uh, now two, number two on our list, we have Space Object and Artifact. And that's going on August 6th from 6 to 8 p.m. Now that's the opening reception at the Nave Gallery. Um, it, the opening reception is the 6th, but it will be going on from August 1st to the 22nd. So if you can't make it that night, no worries, you'll have plenty of time through August to go check out the exhibit. Um, so it's going to be a group show. It's featuring Kate Benson, Carolyn LaTorelle, and Emily Manning. And what the, um, what the exhibit is, is it explores the idea of what we do in the space you occupy and the belongings that we possess. Uh, explores what it reveals about us as individuals and um, how other individuals see, see ourselves. Um, so definitely go check it out. Um, make sure to go online for the gallery hours. You want to show up there when they're closed. Uh, so third on our list, we have Franklin Park Pop-Up Grove. Uh, this is going on the weekend of August 8th and 9th from 11 to 6 p.m. It's going on in the Franklin Park Woods. Um, so Fingers crossed that it's going to be sunny. We don't want any rain. Uh, the event's going to be held in the Wilderness Picnic Grove. Uh, so there's going to be performances, sculptures by local artists, food trucks, and best of all, the event is free and totally open to the public. Families, kiddos, bring your date, bring whoever you want to bring. Um, but it's a great combination of nature and a great combination of art, and it's just 
a great way to spend time outside and um, enjoy art and enjoy your surroundings. Um, so definitely check out online and um, hopefully you make over to it. So it's always my pleasure to bring to you the great events that are going on in the city of Boston. Um, I love learning about these events and I love getting to share them with you. Uh, so we're going to take a short, short break, but when we come back we're going to have our very talented musical guests that have graced this Bell's View with their wonderful music. And uh, stay tuned, don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with a great performance. One, two, one, two, three. Welcome back, gang. Thanks an awful lot for hanging in there with us. Great Val's view. Thank you very much, Val. I'm always, I always enjoy your, your, uh, your additions to the show. Happy one year anniversary again. Thank you. Yes, great to have you here with us in Studio B here at BNN TV. I'm going to remind you one more time. You can see this show sometime tomorrow night on our YouTube station, which is called It's All About Arts and the Number One, or you can go to our Facebook page. It'll be up on there, too. But right now, it's my great pleasure to introduce you to uh, great friend, Mr. Kurt. You hear me talk about Mr. Kurt all the time. Mr. Kurt is part of this, the fabric of this show. Thank you for coming in tonight, Mr. Mm -hmm. Kurt. How are you, sir? Fine. It's I'm, good, good to see you. like being with you. <laughs> yes, That's you do. Joy. And Jeff Pango. How are you, Jeff? Uh, doing peachy. Peachy. Good. Glad. Well, listen, what we're going to do is we're going to play a little bit of music. They're going to play a little bit of music for you. <gasps> almost. We, want, we almost. wanted him to play, <laughs> but he won't do it. Even no, Val not put the even pressure not. on him. Couldn't happen, didn't happen. Listen, gang, sit back and relax. I think you're going to enjoy this. Set your VCRs. This was a one-time performance. You're going to love it. Sit back and relax. Have fun. Thanks, Glenn. You're welcome. Do you want to say anything? I'm really happy. Oh, okay. oh good. We're happy to be okay. here. Two, one, two, five, twelve. <laughs> Oh, 
Well, shake it up, darling. Let's groove and swirl. If this is what dreams are made of, then it's love for sure. We can get personal, personal. Share our secrets with ease. With me. And you promised you always be true. Be true. That's the sweetest dream. I'm on a tilt, tilt a world. I'm on a tilt, tilt a world. Let's peel on out of here, out of here. Let's scat as soon as we can. We can. When you make my heart do a flip, do a flip. I'm in never, never land. Spinning on an axis, heading for the stars. Astral projection to the end of the world, or wherever else you are. I'm on a tilt, a world. I'm on a tilt, a world. We're going round and round and round and round, round and round and round. We're going round and round and round and round. We're going round and round and round. We're going round and round and round and round, round and round and round. We're going round and round, round and round, round and round and round. On a tilt till the world. We're on a tilt, a world. We're on a tilt till the world. We're on a tilt till the world. She was a princess Much lower than people thought A master of nothing And a mistress of something She thought Well, she could talk about things that never mattered ever in one person's miserable life after another. She could talk to the French and the Germans and Welsh. They never listen. They never will. Chinese envoy was here. The Chinese envoy was here, but left. The Chinese envoy was here. The Chinese envoy was here, but he left. What well, call? Surprise at what came. Gallop 
coming out of the darkness Just like furniture We'd have lost it if it hadn't been for a coloration And all is courtship The Chinese envoy was here The Chinese envoy was here But left The Chinese envoy was here The Chinese envoy was here Yes, the Chinese envoy was here But left And his broken heart too Pagoda With apologies to John Cale and Christopher Lee So, are we doing another tune now? Here we yeah. go. Yep, let's do this uh... All right want you to feel it out there in TV land. Set us up just fine There's nothing wrong with that We get thirsty all the time Well, before I kick the bucket I'm gonna drink the river dry We need the buzz, we crave the lift, yeah It's ecstasy to our minds It is what it is, you can't quench this thirst of mine We some colors, courtesy of Cezanne Tell me about it, Jeff Well, he's wet with flowers, cause my name is his man Strike up the palate, stir it around Light up each picture of a man who wants to drown, yeah. That's right, this Saturday in Rosendale, Glenn Williams will be performing. So I want you all to come down there just to see him. We'll be there. Tim, Andy, Bonnie, Jeff, and myself. But until then, we're gonna have to go to whiskey. We can't find the bottle of wine. Yeah. I love it, I love it all of the time There's nothing wrong with that We get thirsty all the time Right, Jeff? Well, all the time All the time All the time All the time All time all the time and we're going to send it back to Glenn soon right and Val you're going to say goodbye for us thanks very much
Welcome back, gang. Wasn't that fabulous? I tell you, you know, I've been I've been playing with with Kurt for a long time and, and been enjoying his music. It's always a, it's always seems to be a miracle to me when he pulls it off live. Listen, it's my great <laughs> <laughs> it's my great pleasure and honor to introduce you, please, Mr. Kurt. Yeah, thank you. Hello, how are you? Hi, dear. Hi, dear. How are you? How are you? <laughs> Jeff, thank you very much for coming in. I really do appreciate it. Hi, Val again. How are you? Oh, hey there. <laughs> Good to see you, Val again. You're the best. You're the best. Thank you. Um, <laughs> tell me, tell me um, this rendition of, uh, of Mr. Kurt. I mean, you, <laughs> what I'm doing now? What right. you're doing now. Uh, is, uh, it, it's, uh, you've gone through many changes over the years. You've done a lot of right. really cool things. You've played with some major acts and, and, uh, and had some great success in the Boston music scene. And... Uh, how do you, this, this sounds great. How do you feel about what you're doing well, right now? Well, it's all about arts, isn't it? It's all about arts. And for us, is. you know, it's all about making music all mm -hmm. the time mm -hmm. and finding new people to play with. Right. I mean, I play with a lot of friends for an extended period of time. Yeah. Sometimes it's not quite as long, mm -hmm. you know. Jeff's a new member to my... Yeah, uh, how did you guys get to meet Corey? Jeff? How did, how did this whole thing happen? Uh, we met at a gig uh, like 20 years ago, um, and... Uh, we became friends, mm -hmm. and um, uh, you know, basically, we lost touch for a good fifteen years or so. It's called raising kids. Yeah, it's called having a family. Yeah, yeah. we and, all know um, that. And then, uh, you know, the the internet came around with that email thing, and uh, we uh, we reconnected. Reconnected. And, yeah. Do you remember when he was on your show about? about six or seven years no, ago. Yeah. No. There have been so playing? many people passing through here, right? <laughs> Who were you playing with then? He played solo. You just, came and did a solo gig, really? I did, yeah. I never got to see it. I really want that DVD if you have it. In the Back office. then it was VHS <laughs> tapes. <I think>. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we will find, we will we, I'll make it a point to find that. Oh, if you can. Yeah, yeah. That yeah. Would be great, you know. uh, where are you cats playing? Not just this Saturday. Well, you know that I've retired. So yeah, that's I'm, what I heard. You know, you know, I get this emotional letter from <laughs> Kurt talking about I'm retiring. Do you know Brett from Favre is? He <laughs> referred to me as Brett Favre. Retiring from music and perform not well, music, but performing and stuff. Yeah. And two days later, I get a flyer announcing where he's going to be for the next month. And I'm like, <laughs> right. what? Oh, boy. Well, I mean, when you're younger, you play a lot. As you get older, you just find yeah. other things to do, like raise a family or, yeah. or just you slow down, yeah. you know, I mean, but the, 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 the idea is not to stop being creative, right. you know, to be as creative as you can for as long as you can, mm -hmm. as long as you can still stand and breathe and yeah. want to make music, yeah. Now, you still have your studio? I still have my studio. In fact, I was great. just doing some work. Open hand, today. right? My open hand studio, That's right. great. That's awesome. I mean, the, the digital age has really, you've grown up in, in, in the trans, transition of music from from analog and eight tracks, eight tracks, eight tracks. yeah, <laughs> eight tracks and cassette and tape and stuff to this whole new digital age and stuff. Have you been able to keep up with it? Yeah, I, well, it took me a long time to come to grips with it. Yeah, how old uh, is your cell phone? <laughs> My cell phone. It's, I have a. What do the kids call it? Trekkie? You have a techie cell phone. <laughs> I hold the flip phone. <laughs> open. What are you doing? It's Where's not your computer? A smartphone, it's a dumb phone. It's, it's a, a dumb, dumb phone. phone. Yeah. <laughs> but it gets you through, right? Well, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I'm not the most savvy with, with you know, electronic stuff, but I mean, Jeff is. Yeah. So I mean, we, both, we all use Digital Performer, which is our yeah. software program for recording. Glenn has a studio yep. with that, and Tim does, and Jeff does. Jeff has the most advanced studio, so now we've been doing a lot of recording at his house, just getting the feel for what it. What do you have in your room, Jeff, that, uh, um, that makes it more advanced? Well, uh, let's see. Eight. Currently, I got a lot That's of moisture because it's in the basement, and I don't have a dehumidifier. But outside wow. of that, you know, I've got you know um, pianos, guitars. I, yeah, yeah. All the tools. I've got a yeah. theremin. I got a uh, lap steel. I got a bass. Nice. I got you know nice. a lot of little toys. Yep. And and are you you're writing too as well? Uh, is there some of your music in, being in, involved in? What is yeah. the name of this? It was called Fun Era 50. 
Yeah, but there <laughs> were right. two other good friends in that. Yes, yes, we had another couple of people. That was the band that I decided to stop. Because <laughs> mm -hmm. it just, I was, just didn't want to be banned anymore. And I really enjoyed just playing very simply with Jeff, mm -hmm. you know, showing up, doing occasional sporadic gigs. Yeah, I did that for years with guitars. Tim, you know. Yeah, yeah, I great, know. You know, and, uh, and I, I, I do enjoy, I do enjoy that camaraderie, two guys that are writers and guitarists. Yeah. I love watching you guys play. It's, it's, I mean, you're both such talented musicians, obviously, but you don't take yourselves too seriously that y you don't have fun with your music. You know, you're, you're playing with, uh, off of each other and you're playing with the audience and it's just you're so comfortable in what you're doing and it's so enjoyable to watch well, it was thanks. just Thank it you. was fun isn't that what watch. chemistry this chemistry is all about exactly, you know yeah. with you two mm -hmm. you know with anybody with anything yeah. you find the chemistry to make it work in a real imperfect world yeah. you know as best you can well, they've both also been playing music a combined 125 years <laughs> too so uh, not like oh. that. <laughs> we, didn't get, <laughs> we didn't get to do the last song, which is called My Old Man Mind, right, where I address, address that. And, uh, You'll have to come down on Saturday and, and hear we're that. We're going to do it Saturday. Mm -hmm. So when we do it, we'll say, Val, the song's for you. I appreciate you. You've put this thing together for Saturday for mm -hmm. Low Budget Records. And uh, uh, I know that you wanted to fill this, the studio up tonight with... 15 acts. And who said no? I did. <laughs> I said, go right to the top of the list That's and leave right. it that way. That's right. Yeah, but I, I appreciate you coming in and representing. I'm obviously very happy that Bonnie was able yeah, to I get here. I wish we'd seen Bonnie. I wish yeah. you could have seen her perform, but that's a tease for Saturday. I can't wait to see oh, her Oh, there's no question it's a tease for Saturday. Yeah. It's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, we haven't quite got the batting order figured out yet. I've but you're going to do that because you're yeah. the... I am the hand. I <laughs> am the hand. The iron fist. <laughs> I will turn you down if you don't... If I, but, well, thank you very much, guys. I appreciate thank it. Any you. other gigs around the area? You know, I had your friends on the other day from uh, Tavern at the End of the World. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. They were great. They talked very highly of you. They, 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 Natalie, they, Natalie? Natalie and, and Pat. Pat. Right, right, they, right. They, they, were, they were super. We really enjoyed well, them. We went and played there, and the first time we played there, we loved it. Jeff loved the place. Yeah, yeah. I, although she thinks my name is Jeff Tango. Tango, right. <laughs> <laughs> you know how your names get confused. I yeah. do. Jeff Tango, but it's Pango. Listen, guys, thanks an awful lot for spending some time with us this evening. Thank I you, do Glenn. appreciate it. We're right up against the clock, I see. And listen, I want to I tell everybody that Saturday at the Farmer's Market in Rosendale Square, um, we're all going to be down there performing kind of a, we don't know, we'll make it whoever gets right. there first. I'd like it going. to be around Robin, but that's too many people on the stage at the same time. Well, I, yeah, that'd be difficult because I've got other things I've got to run around and do, too. He's so. the sound man also. <laughs> He's a sound man, he runs it, and then he's going to perform. The yeah. man of many talents. That's it. I'll have to have you run the sound when I play that. Not you. Good luck oh. with that. No one can hear it. <laughs> Val, yes. Come on, try it. I wouldn't know the first thing about running the sound. Well, I'll, what do you, I'll well, give it a shot. The thing that says, Glenn, turn that That's one up. Okay. All the way. <laughs> <laughs> That's all you need to know. Hey, listen, thanks a lot, guys. I really yep. appreciate it. Val, thanks an awful lot for another Thank fabulous you. show. Thanks, kid. Off to another second year now. Yes. Another year. Let's see how, how far we can pull this it. thing off. See how long we can roll the dice. Listen, gang, thanks <laughs> an awful lot for being here with us. Get out there and do something artful for yourself. Pick up the Boston City paper right in the first page. You can check out Val's view and some of the great things that are going on here around this beautiful city of ours. It's an amazing place to live. We're so proud of it. Proud of the work that everybody's doing to keep it an artful place. And like we like to say every week, please keep in the forefront of your minds our mothers, fathers, sons and daughters, aunts and uncles and nieces and nephews on foreign soil. Please keep them in your thoughts. Do something artful with them in mind. And uh, it can only make this a better place we live in, okay? Well, listen, we'll dig you. I'll see you Saturday, number one. And uh, Val, we'll see you next week, okay? Absolutely. All right, guys. Let's say a big bye-bye. See you bye. later, guys. Bye-bye. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs>